All right, so let's look at solving a problem in MATLAB. Let's say we have a matrix with a bunch of characters. For example, we could have A, B, D, E, G, Y, I, N, 6, Y, O, T. So this is our matrix of characters, and we want to just go through this matrix and find the first going from top to bottom, left to right. So starting with the first line left to right, just like we read, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. We want to go through and see the first one that matches some character. Let's say we want to find the first N. Then the way we can do this is let's say we want to create a function that will solve this problem for us so that every time we have a similar problem to this, we can just reference that function and use it. So first we'll define a function and I'll say I want a single output or let's say I want two outputs. I want the row and then the column and that's equal to the function name. And let's say I want to say this is find char. And then the input is this matrix. Let's call this matrix one. And char one for the character. So we want to go through this talked about and left to right and see the first N that we see. Or let's say even just generalize it and make it so that it returns each character that we find that matches this. So let's, call it, let's just call it chars then or characters. So what I wanna do is make a vector that lists all of the rows and vector listing all the corresponding columns for each character I find matching this. So to do this, I want to go through one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, three rows and four columns. And the way I can do this is use size to check the size of matrix one. So rows, columns equals size of matrix one. Okay, this will tell me how many to go through. And then I want to go through each row on the outside and then so basically i want to go through row one and then column one two three four so i want to go through the rows so four r is one two rows and then this will be the position in the row that i'm looking for and for c is one two coals this will then say okay for R is one to rows, so I'll start at row one. So right now R equals one. Then I'll go in here, C equals one. And that'll start me here. And then I'll reach the end here that I haven't gotten to, but I'll reach the end, circle back. Then I'll do the second C. Then I'll reach the end, circle back third. C, right there, uh, reach in, circle back, fourth, C, and then that's the last, because Coles will give me four here. So then I reach the end end, and I'll get to this end, and I'll circle back, and now this will be two, and then this will be one. So now I've got into this one, then this one, and so on, right? If I swapped these, then I would go here, then here, then here, then here, then here, then here, and so on. So that's how we can actually walk through this. But how do we get the row and column for the output? Well, first, I want to say we have no row and no column that we know matches our character. So I'll start them out as empty matrices. And then every time I find one, 
I'll add it into this. So for R and C here, let's squeeze this out a little bit. Then I can say if, because I want, now that I've got to this position, I want to test it and say if uh, in the matrix one, at the row and column, if this equals, and to test an equal, right, I do the double equal. If this equals n, but I'm in the function, so I'll use char 1. If this equals char 1, then I want to update the row and column matrices. And I'll say row at length of row plus one. So row will just be a vector that I made. It won't be a matrix. So I'll just see how long it is. Right now it's zero. Uh, so length of row will be zero. And I add one. So the first position in it will be R because I found a character that matched. So put it into my row. And of course I can do the same with col length of row and column will be the same, but I'll just specify a col, add one, and this equals C. Let's press these. So now, every time I go through this, at each point I'll check if matrix one at that position is equal to the character one, then I can put in my output row and column, uh, what the R and C there are. Now I can do an end to close off this if, and this I'll indent for clarity, and this for loop, and end this. So once again, if I walk through this, I'll start this, and these are my outputs, so they don't have anything yet. This is what I'm writing in this function so that it knows what the outputs are. Now I've got matrix one, which starts out as this, and then char one, which is, of course, this, right? So then I check how big is matrix one because I'll need to go through it. So rows, calls equals size of matrix one. Then I say, start out, okay, my output is blank and blank, right? That's all this is doing, starting this out. So if nothing happened past this line, it would just be this as an output. So for r is one to rows, then I say r equals one, just something when working through this. So if I split this out to the side here, r equals one, then c equals one, then if matrix one at rc, I'll just say m1 at one one, this is a in this case. So this is a, that equals equals, and char one is n in this case. If this is true, then do something, but this is not true, so don't do this. Then I reach this end because I'm skipping this. I reach this end and because it's for loop, I circle back. So R is still one, but C will now be two, and M1 at one, two. This is B equals equals N. Of course, this is not true. So we don't go into the if statement right there. So next we'll do the next for loop. C equals three and M one of one, three value at v is d, so let's say d equals equals n, right? Matrix at 
one three is d this equals equals n and do this but this is not true so don't do the if and we'll keep doing this we'll do c equals four that will not be true and then we'll end this for loop circle back so let's look at that one just for clarity's sake then r equals two and then c equals one because we started this for loop again so r is two c is one so if matrix one at two one which is g this equals char one which is n then we do something but since it's not we don't and of course we can just see ourselves it'll be at this point then we finally get to an n and since this is the only n this is the only one where we'll get into the if statement so we'll get to row two column four so we'll do two and three and then c equals four m1 at 2 4 this is n equals equals n so check finally we found one that equals n so we go into our if and our if says row at length of row plus one which is row which is size zero now so row at 0 plus 1 equals and then this is r which right now is 2 right and col at 0 plus 1 so it's the same thing just col equals c which is 4 right now so I've just added into my row matrix successfully the row and the column. And of course, I'll just keep going through. If I wanted to like just stop here, right? I could do a break or since I've got two loops here, I'd probably add a check in here uh, where if length of row greater than zero, then break and I would add that here as well so that once it broke out it would also check again and since it is length of rows greater than zero it will break out of both of these so I'd need to put it it's not here here and here right and that's how I could accomplish that so let's actually type this up in MATLAB. All right, so here we've got our matrix of values and the value to check against, to look for in the matrix, right? So let's create our function. We'll just duplicate what we did before. New function. And right here, this will be for the outputs we got row Cool. name of the function, find chars. Then for the inputs, we have our matrix one and char one. So first we say rows coals equals size of matrix one. We want that, suppress it. Start out with row is empty and column is empty. Then we can say for r is one two rows or c is one two coals. 
then if matrix one of R C equals chart one row of length of length of row plus one equals R and col of length of col plus one equals C. That and that and that. And there we are. If we test the same matrix that we had initially uh, in our example, then we should get out the same result. So let's save this. And I'll save it in this folder. So now I can use it if I say row cool equals find chars of values and check for so i've got separate names for the inputs and in the function but that doesn't matter it's just in this function that it'll convert whatever the first input is it'll be treated as this name and whatever the second input is it'll be treated as this name so inside this it doesn't matter what i name these right so let's run this what do we get row two column four and that matches what we got when we were working through it ourselves. If we want one that uh, has two values, so we can see if it's working for that, we can swap this to Y, and then we should be able to see in the matrix, it's row two, column two, and row three, column two. So that works perfectly. We've got our, our function that's working. So hopefully that makes sense. So you can walk through everything and hopefully you learned a lot and can apply it yourself. Thanks.